hello guys thank you so much for tuning in to this video tiny subscriber welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel or a new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing guys i know i haven't said this before i'm so sorry for that thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and um we welcome weasel my name is henrietta so i i filmed a video a moving video or moving vlog nine months ago i think 10 months ago yes and i've noticed a lot of people asking questions about the upsa hostel and i felt like addressing some kind of um uh, questions uh, answering some kind of questions but i'm not going to be really answering them i'm just going to be giving you some information about the upsc hostel okay i know level hundreds are coming and you want to know more about the upsc hostel what we do what don't we do and a whole lot so the upsc hostel is the school's main hostel okay this is the only building for now okay they are yet to open the other one i think they are going to be opening it in february 7th the UPSA Hostel is located right in opposite Presec Second Gate. Okay, yes, opposite Presec Second Gate. That is where the UPSA Hostel is located. This building is this building consists of eight floors: the ground floors and the seven upper floors. We we are each and every student of the University of Professional Studies Accra is affiliated to a hall. And we have four halls in this school. We have the Ya Asantua, the Opoku Ampoma, Liberty Hall, and Mandela Hall. So when you come to the UPSC hostel, from the ground floor to the first floor, the um, is for Ya Asantua. Yes. And the second floor and the third floor is for Opoku Ampoma. The fourth and the fifth is Liberty Hall. And then the seventh and the eighth is um Mandela Hall. We have a new hostel coming up. They are going to be opening their place. Um, no, we, I think they are going to be checking in, in on the 7th of February. I will put in today's dates in on the screen so that I don't, you don't get confused. Yes, they will put in this on the 7th of February. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Most of the questions that I get asked is, how do we cook? Do we have a kitchen or something? not really we have a balcony okay like we have a balcony and you know when you get to um legon i think they you get to put your hot plates there you get to cook there but this place no and the thing is that um you don't get plugs outside of your room as in at the balcony we have the plugs inside we have like four slots for a plug in your room two at the head side and two near the locust so you share them with your roommates okay and sometimes you put the fridge you just have to adjust and things just to make sure you don't bring um you and your roommate do not have more than two fridges like why would you have more than two fridges in your room yeah and uh, so um yeah one important thing you should bring really really you should bring is extension board like it's very necessary okay it will help you a lot extension board so another thing about the school hostel is did i mention yes we cook with the rice cooker okay we sometimes use the hot plates but when i came in level 100 they said the hot plates was not allowed but now it seems um we have no choice but to use the hot plate but do not use it too much and um i think you should check the vault i think the one with the one um stove is the one with the one heater is it's better than the one with the two because that one takes a lot of um, prepaid or electricity or something like that. Either you'll be spoiling all your sockets in the room. Okay. And another thing about the UPSO hostel is the old one they say is very big. It's bigger than the new one. I haven't seen the new one yet, but looking at my room, it's big. It's quite big. It's big for four people in a room. We have four lockers for each and every one. And, um, yeah i think what else do you have to know subscribe like and comment thank you you have your bathroom and the washroom in your room which you share with your roommates 
and they supervise you with matches you bring your pillow and your bed sheets and things of course and um what else you just have to bring your cleaning things cleaning stuffs for um cleaning the room and thing that one i don't think i have to tell you that and um, basically there was another question somebody asked so at the upsa hostel okay one important information about the upsa hostel, especially the old building is that um i heard that when you book bed one and bed three you are supposed to sleep down and when you book bed three and bed when you book bed two and bed four you sleep at the top but guys don't let this be a fight okay if you go to a room that you feel like oh gosh like this person cannot sleep up just compromise or if you feel like i know there's no seniorism in the university but sometimes just respect okay respect respect is very key if you don't respect you're going to have a lot of problems with your roommates okay so guys respect okay respect no matter what okay respect because um i believe in doing unto others what you want others to do unto you so just do the right thing and you'll be okay with your room and be happy and yes so another thing about the UPSC hostel is a very important information is that you do not enter the hostel after 12 a.m. My sister, my brother, they will lock you. The security guard can be sitting right at the gate and won't mind you when you come at 12 a.m. Like, I know sometimes you go out 12 a.m. like, it's normal you can go for all night or something but just remember the moment it hits 11 55 and you are nowhere close to the hostel don't come back like don't come back okay like <laughs> don't come back you don't want to be disappointed okay i think these are the basic things i want to say if i have more to say i'll do another video and say it but for now I think this is it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.